Greetings, hello, and hi. My name is Drew, you are you, and we are here, not physically, but virtually, you are with me here today at the Goulet Pen Company, and you're going to listen to me talk about this here, Opus 88, or you're not, maybe you'll cut off the video, I don't know, but I'm going to keep talking anyway, as though you are listening attentively. Today, it's the holiday jazz. Is it the holiday right now? I guess, maybe, maybe not. I'm sure there's a holiday somewhere, but this pen, as well as the other one, this one's just called the Transparent, are new pens from Opus 88. Since 19, 1977, doing their thing, much like the Star Wars universe, we're going to have an epic adventure together, maybe, I don't know. Let's just talk about pens, shall we? Is there anything else under here? Let's talk, well, hold on. Let's take a look at this. What do we have going on here? We've got an eyedropper. <gasps> Foreshadowing. How do these pens fill, Drew? Well, it's not a cartridge and it's not a converter, I'll tell you that. And that's nothing. Okay, you know what? No surprises there. I'm so sorry. If you were expecting something amazing, you're not going to get it. But, come on, it's nicely carved foam, at least. Moving on. Holiday Jazz. Both are jazz. Let's get this straight. These are the jazz models. So we've got holiday jazz, transparent jazz. So you're going to get your jazz just determining uh, whether or not you want it to be holiday or transparent. So right off the bat, you're going to see some similarities. We've got two pens that are both clear and frosted. However, this one, holiday, is going to have black or ruthenium trim, gunmetal, what have you, while this one is going to have silver or chrome trim. And both are eyedropper pens, meaning you're going to fill these bad boys directly into the barrel. You're not going to use an internal filling mechanism of any kind. So we'll get to that in a second. But uh, yeah, largely identical. Both are clear frosted throughout the middle of the section. The main difference being the trim and then the transparency of both the lower and upper finials. So that's that. Let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at this one. I like the I like the clear finials on this one, so that's going to be what I'm picking. So once you uncap it, you're going to see the Yovo nib. So German-made nib writes very reliably. Odds are you've tried one of those at some point, and if you haven't, I highly recommend it. They're super reliable. A lot of folks think that these are piston pens. It's a little squeaky, um, but it's not. It's a uh, there is a piston kind of operation here, but it doesn't actually pump any ink. It is just an agitator and it also seals right here. This pist this uh, it's not a piston. This rubber gasket is actually going to seal the chamber from letting any more ink from the main ink reservoir to the feed and grip section of the pen. So um, at this point, I will only be writing with what's already in here, saturated within the grip section, the housing, and the feed. And if I want to allow some more ink to get in, well, I just need to unscrew this, and now things are flowing once more. So that's that. But that is not how you fill it. You're going to fill it by removing the grip section from the barrel and enjoy the squeaking. And uh, you'll see that it does this really cool... Um, contouring here. So it's kind of like a uh, concave shape, which is what that rubber fits right into. So just as I told you, there's this rubber gasket that basically plugs this hole right there so that no ink can go in. So if you don't want any ink moving from the main reservoir to your grip, say you're flying or something like that, um, that's a good way to stop it from going anywhere without your permission or say so. There's an O-ring here that makes sure that no leaks happen and very, very tightly fitting threads. So when you're ready to fill, you can either keep that where it is. Personally, I like to kind of get it out of the way. It's not doing any harm. You can do it either way, but I move it all out of the way. And then I grab my eyedropper, suck up some ink. And if you have depth perception and you're not looking at a camera, you can actually fill it in. <laughs> so there you go. You know, it's pretty simple, but it does allow you to get a ton of ink into your pen. And, uh, this is going to be really good for you if you are a long form writer, if you're going to do some major journaling or you're going to pen your next novel, having a big ink capacity is a lot of fun. So in addition to that, you are going to be able to post this pen. It posts pretty far back. So 
if you are like me and you don't have large hands, posting it, come on, depth perception. There we go. I can't even say depth perception. If you're like me and you don't have gigantic hands, this might be a little obnoxious for you. Or maybe you're just like, hey, dude, I like obnoxious looking pens. Well, guess what? Go get yourself some jazz because this is right up your alley, man. But I actually like the look of this. I mean, granted, this has that cool clear finial as well. But uh, I don't know. There's something nice and sleek about this. And for all intents and purposes, the Holiday is going to be the same way just with the different sort of trim. So if you're a fan of both of these and you like the look, uh, you might it might just come down to which sort of trim you prefer. Both of these are going to be made in Taiwan, but we're going to have German nibs on these, so the writing experience is going to feel more European. And that's that. The great thing about clear pens is that you can pick any ink color and get away with it. So if you're somebody who likes to match their ink, you do not have to worry about it with these. You're not going to feel restricted like me, I always feel the need to match my inks, so I appreciate having at least a few pens in my collection that I can just go crazy with and not uh, not be beholden to anybody. I mean, of course, there's always going to be that inner voice that says, Drew, you don't need to match, but then there's that other, other inner voice that says, yes, you do. So if you're like me, quiet that inner voice and maybe some others <laughs> and have yourself some fun with a new pen. Either way you go, if you want more info, go ahead and check out the product page on gulepens.com and, whoa, Stay still. And I'll talk to you later. Right on.